And I also want you to touch on the Kim Davis issue. I mean, yeah. so much chatter about that. And I mean, watching the secular like programs like The View and others where they are just crucifying her, making fun of the way she looks, and it's just unbelievable to me how she has been assaulted. You know, it's interesting how we. Uh we admire people for their courage to stand up against the uh, the institutions. I mean, the left loves to highlight, uh, you know, the mayor of San Francisco when he issued gay marriage certificates, even though it was against the law. Oh, what a courageous and heroic figure they are! People who uh, who rightfully uh, in the civil rights uh, movement stood up against an unjust law and said, "We're not going to go along with something that that is morally unjust." Mm -hmm. But when they're on the other side, all of a sudden you're crazy, you're a kook, and and uh, you're to you're to be ridiculed and made fun of, and. Uh, Kim Davis is doing something that uh, is courageous. She's she's following uh, her convictions, and uh, we have a law that's an unjust law. Martin Luther King said in, a, in his famous letter from a Birmingham jail, uh, "There are just laws and unjust laws." And uh, how do we know whether he said, "How do we know whether a law is unjust?" And he said, "Because it doesn't follow what God, what the moral law is, or God's law, and he, or natural law," as he goes on to say. And clearly, uh, the laws on marriage don't follow the natural law. They don't follow God's law, and so. You know, Martin Luther King's view, viewpoint, uh, he would have said, this is a law that you have a, an obligation to resist. And uh, that's what Kim Davis is doing. She's, uh, she's standing up and saying that uh, I'm not going to follow an unjust law. Now, uh, that's, a, that's a courageous thing to do in a, in a society today. But it's, to me, it's, uh, it's something that uh, should, be, uh, should be applauded for her standing for her convictions.